Hello everyone, let's talk about the new enchanting system that is coming in RPG Builder version 1.0.3. This version, by the way, is going to come out on the Unity Asset Store at the end of this month. So, enchanting system is pretty much my favorite system in RPGs because it lets me um, have extra customization on the stats that my armors and weapons have. And I'm all for it because I'm someone who likes to customize my characters a lot. And on top of this, not gonna lie, the reason I really like enchanting is because most of the time it lets you have some very cool particle effect on your weapons or armors. And I'm definitely someone who likes that. So to access enchantments uh, in RPG Builder, you open the editor as always, and you go under general and enchantments. And we're going to create one together from scratch. There is already one pretty fine, which is enchantment giving some extra health. But I want us to go from scratch and create one together. So um, we're going to be creating one which is uh, giving some fire damage bonus to our items. So you can choose, of course, whatever name you want. But in this case, for the video, I'm going to keep it simple. And you see that the first section is requirements. We also have a chair section. We will focus on this a bit later. Requirements are not uh, well required. Required, you don't need to have them, um, but it's pretty cool to have some um, control over what kind of items this enchantment can be used on, right? So you see that the first option is item type, and in this case, it could let you decide if this enchantment can be used on armors on weapons. The second one is item quality. This lets you require a specific item quality for this enchantment. Armor type, for example, in the fire damage one, we could decide it to only be able to apply on cloth armor pieces. Armor slot, let's say that we want to do some uh, RP, we could have a, a movement speed enchantment and it can only be applied on boots or something like this. Weapon type, pretty straightforward. And the weapon slot lets you, this is pretty cool for balancing actually, uh, lets you uh, define if an enchantment can be applied on a two hand weapon, may hand, of hand, or things like that. For this video, we're going to keep it simple and not have any requirements, but you can have as many as you want. Let's now add our first chair. So uh, enchantments are chair based. It's not only like one specific value. You can have as many chairs as you want and each chair has their own settings. So let's go through the settings one by one together. The first one is success rate. If this is under 100, it's going to have a chance to fail. The enchanting time, we're going to keep it at two for this video. And this is how long it takes once you click uh, enchant on the UI to actually enchant your item. The particle visual, I'm going to focus on this at the end of the video. I'm going to show you how to create one from scratch, but pretty much you can drag and drop a prefab here and it's going to um, be controlling what particle effect is applied to the weapon or armor once this item is enchanted. And the cool thing is that you see that this, this particle visual is under the tiers meaning that each chair could have its own particle visual. So you could tweak the color or whatever you want. And of course, me personally, I know that's something I would do in my game is, for example, chair one, let's say we have a little bit of fire particle, chair two, we have a little more fire, and chair three, we have a huge fire particle on our um, weapon or something like that. That's pretty much something I would love to do um, in one of my games. So now, after that, we have a few lists here. The first one is cost, and the second one is also cost, but the first one is for currency. This lets us define, for example, if we wanted our fire uh, enchantment to cost some copper, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make it uh, chair one cost uh, 10 copper. We can also require an item. I'm not going to do it for this video, but we could say, for example, uh, fire damage enchantment chair one requires five blood item in your bag and it's going to consume them. And you can have as many of those as you want. So I'm just going to remove the um, item cost and keep the copper one. And the last part is probably the most interesting one. It's letting us um, decide which stats should be affected by this enchantment, right? So in your case, we will select the fire damage stat and tier one is going to give 10. That's pretty much it for tier one. We can add a new tier now. I'm going to keep it simple and only have two in this video, but I just want to show you that you can uh, upgrade them and so on. So we're gonna keep this at two. We're going to uh, add the copper cost, but this time it's going to be 20. And uh, no item cost, but we will also have the fire damage bonus, of course, but this time is going to be, let's say, uh, 40. It could also be a percentage, it's up to you. 
So that's pretty much it. Now I want to assign the uh, mesh particle, the fire one. So this is something I predefined before this video. But as I said, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to create your own from scratch. And that's very simple. That's pretty much it for the enchantment. We can save. The enchantment is now ready to be used with just one more thing to do before that is to create some kind of items uh, that you can, you know, compare to um, enchantment scrolls. So um, fire damage scroll, for example, we will call it like this. The quality is up to you. We can set to whatever, but the type is important. Uh, it has to be of type enchantment to work. And also because only this type lets you define the enchanting settings, of course. You see that here we have an enchantment field. This uh, is, of course, whatever enchantment you want attached to this item. In your case, it's going to be the fire damage one we just created. And it has also another option, which is about consuming the item. So this is up to you, like if this item should be consumed or not once the enchantment was applied to an item. If it's not, then it's going to stay in your bag forever and you can use it as many times as you want. If it's consumed, then it's going to be gone from your bag uh, after it's used. For now, we're going to keep it in our bag and I'm going to leave the rest of the settings default. And that's it. We can just now go in game. And so here we have our character. It doesn't have any armor on, but we have a full set of blazer in your bag and a few weapons. Now, um, if I go ahead and open the enchantment um, uh, UI, you see that there is nothing. It's uh, not populated, nothing. So what the way it works is that um, this panel is going to only show the current enchantment you can do. And uh, this is based on what you have in your bags, right? So if I now go ahead and give me the uh, behemoth enchantment for one, you know, one time and uh, the fire damage, we now have the uh, behemoth and fire damage enchantments in the list here that are ready to be used now. The way you, you know, uh, actually enchant an item, you have two ways. You can drag and drop it on the window or you can right click uh, the item you want to enchant. Here, by the way, you see that we have the behemoth item uh, selected. I mean, behemoth enchantment selected and it doesn't let us enchant the weapons. And this is because when you hover the behemoth um, item, you see that at the bottom it's going to tell you item type required armor. So in this case, we can only enchant armors, right? So this is how useful the requirement we saw in the editors are. So a uh, quick note on the enchantment items. They, of course, have tooltips. So if you hover them, it's going to say the name of the enchantment and it's going to show you the tiers that they have. Now, let's uh, go ahead and uh, look at, for example, our gloves here. You see that the gloves are not enchanted. And if we equip them, um, they, are, um, they don't have any you know, kind of particle effect on them. So um, we will go ahead, we will unequip them and enchant them. So let's go to fire damage and enchant our uh, gloves with chair one. That's it. Now, if we hover the gloves, you see that below the stat, we have enchanted fire damage plus 10. And if I equip them, they now have the fire mesh particle we uh, define in the editor, which is pretty cool. And this works on any um, item type. So for example, I could, you know, go ahead and equip the axe here. And you see that uh, the axe has no particle. I'm now going to enchant it with fire damage. And now that we can equip it, it has the fire particle and it has on the tooltip the bonus of the enchantment. So, uh, and of course, you know, it's going to uh, actually increase the stats. Obviously, we, we now have uh, 10 fire damage from this uh, axe. Now let's upgrade our uh, laser. So you see that now it's going to show instead of tier one, of course, it's going to show the next tier, so tier two. And I'm going to go ahead and now it will tell us that this item already has the maximum uh, enchantment on it, right? So if we hover them, you see that we have 40 fire damage now. We can equip it. And look at our stats, 40 fire damage, great. And now the last thing I wanted to show you um, in this window is that if you have, uh, if let's say we have the uh, gloves here, which are already full, we can actually override the enchantment. So we could go ahead now and uh, click Enchant, and now it will remove the um, fire damage enchantment, and we now have the Behemoth tier one on it. And you see that Behemoth is consumed at the end of the use, so now it's gone from our bag, and it's also gone from the list because we can't use it anymore. So that was pretty much it, um, but 
you know, we equip it, now we have extra health, and this one does not have uh, any particle yet, so I would like to show you how we create one very easily. So, uh, first step is, you can do it in any scene, it doesn't matter, but you have to create an empty game object, and uh, you can call it whatever you want, but in my case I'm going to call it behem of uh, mesh particle, and in there, you need to add a component on it. The component name is Mesh Particle Manager. That's pretty much it. Here, you see that I have a particle effect, very simple one, right? Um, and all you have to do, we can break the prefab here, and we have to drag and drop it inside the empty game object. You can reset the um, transform if you want. And, uh, but that's pretty much it. And uh, here, we don't have, you know, we don't really need this to be any kind of special, but what you need is to have shape enabled on your particle effect. The settings here, you can leave it as is, but I don't recommend uh, using mesh color. You should keep this one up. And unless you really want to use mesh color, but otherwise it's just going to tweak the colors of your particle. So it's not gonna look how you define it here. And also most likely you want it to be looping, right? So you just make it loop and then you keep the settings how you want. That's pretty much it. The last thing you have to do now is to add this uh, particle to the particles list of the Mesh Particle Manager. And we can just drag and drop this prefab here now. I'm going to remove it. We now go back to the editor. Enchantment, behemoth. And uh, tier 1, we can now assign Mesh Manager. And here, the prefab again. So both tiers have them. We can go back in game. We go back on your character and you see that already now uh, in the main menu it is showing already the behem of uh, particle enchantment from our item i mean from uh, the gloves right so we can now hit game and uh yeah so we have the enchanted gloves and they now have nice particles so we can unequip it equip it again and it's gonna work now another tip is you see right now i'm not very satisfied because i think it's too big for uh, the character so what you can do here is open the prefab of the particle and you can actually tweak it in runtime. Um, so we can say the size is probably a bit too big. So 0 0.5 to 0 0.2 maybe. And maybe it's going a little too much high. Like uh, maybe it's leaving also a little long, too long. So this maybe to six and the gravity modifier maybe to uh, three. We can now save that save the prefab and we just have to unequip it and equip it again and now you see that it's uh, already modified and i guess it's a little better i think it looks a bit better right now and of course in this um behem of particle or like your mesh uh, particle manager you can have as many particles as you want if we look at the fire one it has two it has one that goes in the world and one that stays uh, on local on the item but this is just Unity particle related stuff. So it's up to you uh, to learn about that or not. But yeah, that's pretty much uh, all I wanted to show you for this new system. I hope you like it. Personally, I think it's pretty cool. Um, I love how it works. It's very easy to use, very easy to create. And also uh, we can have some nice looking effect on our um, weapons and armor. So yeah. I'm pretty happy with that. Let me know what you think in the comments. Always let me know if you have some questions or suggestions. Make sure to join the Discord and see you in the next video.